And the Biebs wasn't too happy with the pesky paparazzi in Israel. And if Justin Bieber isn't happy, or Lisa Stangle is not happy. But she joins us anyways with those unhappy Hollywood headlines. That's right, Andrew. Justin Bieber fends off the paparazzi in Israel. And Catherine Zeta-Jones opens up about her struggles with a mental illness. This and more in today's Hollywood Minute. Catherine Zeta-Jones has revealed she was recently treated for bipolar disorder. A rep for the actress says after dealing with the stress of the past year, Zeta-Jones had a brief stay in a mental health facility. Her husband, Michael Douglas, had been battling throat cancer. The actress's rep says she is now feeling great and is looking forward to starting work on two upcoming films. Justin Bieber apparently couldn't find any peace in the Middle East. The teen star who has a concert in Israel today complained on Twitter that he couldn't escape photographers during his visit. He wrote, you would think paparazzi would have some respect in holy places. A reported meeting between the pop star and Israel's prime minister never took place. The spokesman for Benjamin Netanyahu says the idea was to have Bieber attend an event for Israel's youth, but says that proved impossible. Jennifer Lopez is the most beautiful woman in the world, at least according to People magazine. The publication says the American Idol judge holds on to her good looks with a skincare regimen, grueling workouts, and a portion-controlled diet. But J-Lo says she's a zero-makeup kind of mom at home with her kids. On Ryan Seacrest's radio show, Lopez says she was surprised and flattered to receive the honor. And just when you thought you had enough of Charlie Sheen, he's now claiming he may be coming back to Two and a Half Men. Sheen told a Boston radio station there's been some discussions about bringing him back to the sitcom he was fired from. Sheen puts his chances of coming back at a winning 85%. And with the, the royal wedding just weeks away, many are still pondering how the future of the British royal couple to be will play out. Fairy tale royal romances often turn sour. Queen Elizabeth's younger sister, Princess Margaret, divorced her husband in 1978. And three of the Queen's four children have been divorced. William's uncle has two ex-wives. And then there's Prince William's parents, Prince Charles and Diana, who also divorced. It's the beginning of the end for Steve Carell's run on The Office. The actor's leaving the series later this month, and the show's bringing in a major guest star as his potential replacement. Will Ferrell's new role as the boss starts tonight. Everybody's telling me his name is Will Ferrell. I thought his name was actually Ron Burgundy. That's the role Ferrell played alongside Steve Carell in Anchorman. I don't know what we're yelling about! And Carell's exit from the office opened the door for a reunion. Farrell says his character, D'Angelo Vickers, is cut from the same cloth as Michael Scott. Farrell admits he was a little intimidated about joining the show. It's a little bit out of body, you know, I'm looking at the cast of the office as they look back to me. He should feel very intimidated uh, by what we bring, because we bring our A-game all the time. Farrell will also be part of Steve Carell's final episode of The Office. The season finale is extended to an hour long. And in addition to Farrell, Ray Romano, James Spader, and Ricky Gervais of the original British version of The Office are also on board as guest stars. Those are all of your Hollywood headlines for today. For WUFT News, I'm Lisa Stengel. Back to you, Andrew.